Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Mystery Writer speaking, and welcome to the show! Okay, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I decided to try something a little bit new. I call it a BattleBots theory video. Oh, 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 oh. But, but Mystery Writer, what is there to theorize about? Well, there has been some confusion over how hydraulics would work for a flipper, especially since, no, precisely since, uh, Hydra made its debut in BattleBots. A lot of people were under the assumption that hydraulics would be slow, cumbersome, wouldn't make a good flipper, but Team Wayachi proved otherwise. Pretty much creating the fastest flipper in BattleBots. I mean, Hydra's flipper speed is about half a second, maybe even an entire second faster than Broncos, the king of flippers and battle bots these days. So, how would hydraulics work for a flipper? That is an interesting question, and that's what we will be exploring here today. Because I have two theories. How did I come up with these theories? Well, I am very fortunate to have a father who works in the engineering industry. He works for a contractor of NASA's, and he also has some understanding of how hydraulics work because he's also a farmer. Yes, he runs a farm as well. Small farm, but a farm nonetheless. And he and I talked it over because this is such a fascinating subject. Hydra has instantly become a robot that I pretty much ignored because it just didn't seem that interesting to a robot that everyone is talking about. So, theory number one. The cylinder has a spring in it. Okay, so while talking it over with my father, the engineer, aka the mystery dad, um, he suggested that there actually could be a tightly coiled spring within the cylinder that you can see in this picture of Hydra right here, supplied by BattleBots nonetheless. And what the hydraulic fluid does is it somehow coils the spring, tightening it over and over. And then when the spring is released, that is when the flipper is launched. Quick, simple, and easy to understand. Now, a lot of people were under the assumption that the hydraulic fluid is actually supposed to be used to compressed air, but Team Wayachi, from their interview before the fight, really seemed eminent to the contrary. They didn't say anything about there being any sort of compressed air in their robot. So I'm inclined to say that there are other means, and the spring idea is definitely one of the more likely. But there's also another theory that my father and I came up with, and that is the hydraulic fluid is, is the fuel. The hydraulic fluid is what actually launches the flipper, pure and simple. Just like how uh, compressed air like carbon dioxide, nitrogen, stuff like that, would be launched into a piston, a cylinder, whatever you want to call it, at such high pressures. The same is done for the hydraulic fluid, except it would be rapidly launched into the cylinder at such high speeds. As a matter of fact, I'm the one that pointed it out in this picture that there is this tiny little connection bit, looks like a little tube connected to the bottom of the cylinder. And so, my father theorizes that the hydraulic fluid, which is about 
a soda can's worth, which the average soda can is about 12 ounces, is launched rapidly through that little tube into the cylinder at such high pressures, at, hot, at such high speeds, that just launches the flipper as if it was compressed air. So there we go. Those are our two theories for today. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, do you agree with any of these theories? Do you disagree with these theories? Do you still think that Team Wayachi is still using compressed air in some way and the hydraulic fluid is just used as a sort of secondary thing? What do you all, what do you all think? And also, please don't forget to push that subscribe button, smash that like button, and press the bell icon. I could really use the support. We're almost to 10 subscribers, and I could really use the support. Help this channel grow. All right, that is this episode for the day. Hopefully we can do more uh, Battle Watts Theory videos somewhere down the road. But until next time, sayonara.